Welcome back to the Altitude Team Liquid StarCraft 2 Open. I'm DJ Wee. To joining me is Chill, and this is it. The finals, Game 1, Select versus Strelik. We're on Lost Temple here, and we will get right into the countdown, Chill. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire it down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And we are live. Chill, take us away with the finals. Select Terran versus Strelik, the Terran. Yeah, so after uh, 510 players have dropped out and, and looking at the clock, possibly, I'm going to say about six to eight hours, we've reached the finals. Straylock against Select on Lost Temple. We have blue, uh, excuse me, the blue Terran at six o'clock as Mouse Straylock. And at the 12 o'clock, we have uh, the Korean American Terran spawning as Red Select. Select even has like a Korean like written name. You know, capital S, little E. Little bit capitals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just like screams. Like, is this guy from the GS? You know, like, where did he come from? So, um, yeah. Terran versus Terran. One of the things that we talked about, Jill, was the fact that we do have a little bit of conflicting styles. You could say that Strelok's got a very just strong Terran foundation to him. And so far, Select has shown himself to be. Someone who well, deviates a little bit from those main plans. However, I'm not sure if we've got total confidence that those deviations are indeed anything that could stop Strelik. And while I have chosen Select as uh, my favorite to win, and you have gone the other way, uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Barracks down, barracks down. So here we are starting early. If you're going to look out for anything, it was that Ghost Academy that was coming out early by Select right. that was the big deviation from a lot of the other Terrans we've seen. And something that we'll even be telling before that was because of how gas intensive the ghosts are, he takes that second uh, Vespian geyser very quickly, uh, even more quicker than than any other uh, Terran versus Terran build. So if we see that second refinery go up from select, we can pretty much uh, assume that he's going to be going the way of the ghost. Uh, first SCVs out for both players, uh, both scouting the wrong way. Then they're going to swing around here and go into the main base uh, and, and just check what's going on for each other. One refinery still for both players. Uh, so it looks like it's not going to be Ghost for game one. No. Nope. Maybe he feels like like it's not strong on Lost Temple, but I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks it out on a, on a map like Metalopolis. All right, one of the things just to note, because this is a big thing that helped me a lot in my play, is that Strelok did go for that Zelnaga Tower on his scout. It's just so important here as this SCV is going to be driven out. But if you did get, say, a guy spawning over here on the east position, if he's sending his SCV out and you hit that Zelnaga Watchtower and see him, well, then, boom, you just uh, insta-scouted right there. So over on the other side, Strelok's going to just get away barely with three hit points on that oh. SCV, and those Marines are going to probably go down and just chill at the Zelnaga. And uh, that means he's going to have control of both sides, which is actually huge. And he's going to, nice, he's just going to keep sending this Marine down. Maybe he'll be able to pick that off, also get an idea. But here come two more Marines. This is very similar to what we saw in the first game, Estrelic versus Tarson. And uh, he will back those away. SCV saved as well. So some really early intel attempting to be gathered here. In the meanwhile, we got the factory going down for Select. And he did take that other refinery, but that was about the right timing for it. And I'm just uh, taking a look at the, the APM tab, as I like to uh, early on, and select way up there at uh, 240 average, currently around 250. Stray lock down, uh, this is more what we see out of uh, quote-unquote white people. Is uh, He's down in the 160s, um, but, but still a very strong player. You know, you can't infer too much from APM, but it's always interesting to take a look at. Uh, Stray lock getting the tech lab add-on for his factory. And going to throw up a starport, getting his first tank out. Whereas Select going for the Hellion, actually, um, while he gets his starport out. He's probably going to put this Hellion out. Then whichever add-on he wants for the starport, he'll probably begin to build it on the factory. Someone in chat just said, Ghosts and TVT, what the hell are these casters talking about? That's asinine. But, hey, we saw it <laughs> firsthand. Uh, in the uh, in the semifinal with Select, and he had a very interesting early ghost build that seemed to defend against a, a pretty heavy army. And you know, we although we don't see it here, that's what we were talking about. Basically, what the player had already yeah, done. Yeah, you'll you'll see. You'll I think see. you will too. I don't think we're going to go through. This is a best of five series, so that's a little bit different from the semifinals. And and best of five is like really different because players will uh, experiment a little bit, especially considering the different maps. So Starport down, nice scan coming out by Strelok right on top 
and uh, he's going to get a lot of good info. Banshee for Select coming out with Cloak on the way as well. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not totally surprised to see that from him. It'll just be interesting if, if Strelik can actually see and go after it. He's going to drop a Raven uh, out of his starport right I away. Like this. And then he's got the command center being built right now. Um, so a few Marines here and uh, no, no real action going on yet. But we see the uh, expansion coming out. Uh, for Strelok and uh, no expansion yet for Select. You know, it's going to come down to how Select decides to use this Banshee because there's two ways to use Banshees. Um, the cloak makes me think he's going to go like right for the SCVs, but you can also use them with the Marine tank army and just try to drive the ramp. Um, but we wouldn't expect to see that with cloak. Um, and, and the Raven Viking just really shuts that down. We see the Raven is already out. Viking already out. I don't think this Banshee's going to be able to do all that much. Maybe snipe a tank if he trades the Banshee for a tank, but really, really hard counter here by uh, Straylock. Well, we got the expansion going down for Selected as natural. Here comes that Banshee. It was swinging all the way around the back. He is going to see that the expansion's not up there, but then he'll also scout this uh, command center right there. He comes in, he's going to get the SCV that's building the command center, so he'll have to pull another one off. And here they all come, but the Raven there will stop that attack easily with the help of that Viking. However, it will just sneak away as the whole army just uh, moves after it. And this is exactly the kind of position where maybe having a secondary drop ready considering that they just moved their entire army around and are out of position. And here comes another uh, Banshee coming in, so he will uh, have some time to do some damage here as that Raven is on its way back. It is uh, considerably slower than some of these other uh, air units, and so it was way out there. It, they chased that other Banshee for a while, so there was that sort of two-pronged attack. In the meanwhile, here comes a small force from Select, and we could see a push here. Yeah, it looks like he's realized that he's pushed Strelok's army around. He's still got the two Banshees out, just building energy on the sides. Um, Select has to be a little bit careful here. He could get caught by these Marine tanks. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like that he's pushing so far ahead. He's going to get caught by the uh, the larger army of Strelok, but Strelok not pushing forward. And Select brings in his first Banshee going straight into the main, cloaking. Second one going into the natural, probably going to cloak up. And looks like Strelok has decided to just give it up. He's just letting his SCVs die, and he's pushing into the natural of, of Select. I don't know if this is a good idea. Select has a high ground, but Strelok also has a medevac, taking a big shot there from the tank. Looks like he's just going to contain, but this Banshee, nine kills in the main, and the close, or excuse me, in the natural. There's a wow. Viking now going to work. Ah, looks like he's going to take it out. But there's a cloaked one also in the main, uh, working on a supply depot, losing its uh, cloak, and now that's going to wow. get taken out. Yeah, wow, I mean, so... it's just banshee hell over here. Finally, there's a missile <laughs> turret put down, and you know what? I'd be willing to bet you that Strelok was thinking exactly what you had said, and, and basically that um, it's likely he's going to cut this banshee play, but what he did is he kept it up, especially during the contain here. He is going to get a scan on it to see what's up, and he's got this high ground siege tank and the low ground as well, and then look, you can see he's just pounding him up right over here. So he knows that uh, it's not a good idea to push, but he also has that position. We talked about how this is such a crucial area right. for Terran right here because if you can control. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Do we have any more Banshees coming out? No, it's uh, pretty much uh, exclusively Vikings now. So he's done some damage with those uh, Banshees and a good amount. You could see 44 Harvesters for Select and only 25 for Strelok. So I would say that they certainly paid for themselves. Definitely. Um, the kind of difference in Terran versus Terran is when you have those mules, and uh, and also in StarCraft II, you, it's not really a linear return on how many workers you have. So, you know, if you have double the harvesters, it's not like you're getting double the income, even if you have two right. expansions. So, even though it looks like uh, Select is way, way ahead, you know, he might not be as far ahead as, as one would, would think just by glancing at the numbers. So, Strelok has traded a bit of his uh, his economy to get this position set up. Um, it looks like Select is, isn't going to go around it. He's not going to use medevacs or anything. He's just going to drive straight through it. Looks like he's preparing a lot of armies. He's got his tanks up high. He's probably going to unsiege those, bring them out, send uh, the Marines and Marauders in front and try to get a siege up on uh, on those tanks and just try to break through Strelok before Strelok can reinforce and get that, that death grip of tanks that we saw him get on Tarsen. And he's going to try to bring these Vikings out. He's going to bait them forward. There is a, a point defense drone down. 
And so we're going to have Select then moving his tanks forward and sieging, uh, creating a wall there. And some uh, some help by those Marines could uh, take out those Vikings, but he will just go ahead and move back to the safety. There we have a medevac being loaded up with four Marauders. And why not? You know, hold on. What do we got going over here? We got a missile turret going down over here on the other side. And uh, one here. God, this is awesome. I love this. Strelok putting these up to make sure that if anything does try to sneak around these corners, whether it's on the left or the right. And unfortunately, is he going to see that? No, he doesn't see that medevac. But God, I, I like that play, like setting himself up to make sure it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, Select has snuck past uh, this medevac. It could go for a drop here uh, unless... Uh, uh, Strelok decides to push. This is really dangerous for Strelok because Strelok is in the mindset. I really, I'm a little bit behind an army. I really need to get all my units up to my contain. And just putting these four Marauders, they can focus down buildings so fast. They can take out supply depots. They can even take out production facilities. They can take on add-ons. And what I'd like to see Select do is force uh, Strelok's attention over to dealing with this. As we see Strelok is now in the red, I'd like to see him try to break Strelok's contain while he's a little bit focused here. And oh my god, oh. SCB's pulling up the line, surrounding that so well! And those Vikings dropping down, oh my god, nice. you cannot be happy with that result. And look at these sensor towers going up. Jeez, there's just so huge smart. lines around the map. Trying to shut down any sort of medevac play and just put all his focus. Scan's now going on, I think Select realized this is the time. I think he's gonna get ready to break very, very shortly. Landing all his units, dropping all his units. I just wanna see these tanks on Siege. And that's when we know it's time to break. Well, I just have to look real quickly here at the uh, at the army tab in terms of value, uh, just to kind of get an idea. Maybe even the units tab, because um, definitely a lot more tanks here for select and uh, marauders as well. So maybe he's just a little bit more uh, spread out. Of course, the eight. Uh, Vikings over here on the other side. It's scans are going out. We could have a push here on Siege. And we are going to see it. He's going to walk right into the first set of Siege. And then he's not sieging up at all. He's just going and using the pure DPS. He'll finally Siege take a couple up. And look at that. He's just wrecking through this. I think he is going to get through these Vikings as well. So Select really making a smart push. Uh, we'll see what happens here as the final are going to clean up. And you'll see that Select also has the Viking advantage here as well. There's just the one siege tank out here chilling and uh what do you think about that using like the sheer dps of the tanks before uh before actually sieging up seemed to be the right choice there for select yeah i like that you waste a lot of time in your push um sieging up those tanks so if you can get the tanks up and uh just shelling away at his tanks you know that's how you break break tank contains excuse me in uh in brood war and and select doing that exactly now he's going to send these marauders out uh, to clean up the turrets and allow access over there and clean up the sensor tower. I, I think Strelok's going to be hard-pressed to come back from this. Uh, a lot of the advantage he had was positional by holding that ground and, and selected a great job of taking that out and also is compounding his advantage by taking the island here. Um, Strelok's trying to get a foothold on his own tower as he realizes he's got to hold some ground. He yeah. can't give up all of the map control, but uh, I think it, it's just inevitable here. I mean... We've seen a lot of, of comebacks in TVT even today. So I don't want I don't want to call it anymore, but it, it's definitely Strelok is not in a happy position at this point. Yeah, I mean, uh, first off, Select took over this position. That was probably the biggest reward from that battle. Right now, he's not going to have to worry about them knocking at the front door. It's really hard to have a mass of units at this choke here on Lost Temple, too. So being able to move forward 